There's this glass wall that pharmacists have and they protect themselves behind. You shouldn't hide behind that glass wall and treat your patients as transactional items. Hi, my name is Jennifer Mai, and I decided to research for COM 536 how to reimagine and improve the physical and digital pharmacy space to provide better health communications for pharmacists and their patients. My grandfather was a traveling medic pre-Vietnam War, and then my parents are pharmacists, and so I would be the third generation. So I wanted to merge communications and pharmacy in some capacity with the knowledge I have, and I also wanted to make my mark as a generational legacy to improve upon the pharmacy practice. I want to research into why pharmacists aren't as respected as doctors are in our society. I did a lot of user observation research and went to different cities, states, countries even, and observed different pharmacies. But I found that across the board for all of them, they all have the same sort of design, cluttered with retail sales that are counterproductive to your health. I realized that the space as a whole, pharmacy retail rise, was just not conducive to proper health communications. I thought about, well, how can I fix this? I needed to draw inspiration from different things that worked. So I looked at coffee shops. Coffee shops are places where a lot of business plans happen, a lot of great ideas are shared, people are vulnerable. So for my pharmacy redesign, I decided to take away all the stark white interior and only keep that within the pharmacy prescription area. But everything else has more cozier tones of blues, grays, yellow, just more inviting colors. So instead of having individual cubicle rooms to meet with their patients, they would have these giant wingback chairs with soundproofing built in. And so you would still be able to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with your pharmacists. Between each wingback chair, there's a coffee table, and the coffee tables would have screens put into them so that you can pull up your prescription history if you have any questions about it. All along the side, where you would have normal retail space, it is all chairs and coffee tables and hypoallergenic plants and then a sort of modernized, useful retail space of things you would need. Your over-the-counters, your bandages, and your sunscreen, but no chips, candy, things like that. You can go to the supermarket for that. I had sort of this push and pull feel with pharmacy, where there are days where I wanted to just walk away from this profession because it's not respected, but here I am in this unique position where I can bring that back, I can bring the respect back to the profession. I realized that I'm not gonna jump ship and join the medical field. This is where I'm at. This is the family legacy I wanted to continue. The project itself really is an expression of the love and care and passion I have around just the profession, patients, and providing better health for everyone.